Hey guys, Adrian here, Tag Animations, whatever you want to call me. Um, so basically, I've got requests to uh, show the underwater, underwater, underwater scene tutorial um, that people uh, requested. If you haven't seen it, uh, let me basically show you. I have it on DeviantArt.com. Cam, the cam. Uh, so basically, I log in, and it is right here. So basically, people were asking how I kind of got the whole light shining thing. It was kind of a challenge between me and some other animators, um, how to do this. Okay, <laughs> how to check. Um, so kind of um, a test between uh, a challenge between me and some other animators um, how to do this how to how to make it look kind of realistic um, could have probably darkened up the back a little bit but uh, it is what it is first uh, first time doing this so let's get into it so basically what I did was I have my Sun preset um, it's basically just a sun light and it looks at the camera um, if you haven't seen it yet it's already on um, it's already hold up there you go it's already on selfie it's for free so go ahead and go download that if you want to um, so I have the, that's my main light source then I have the sky I'll show you that so basically with the sky you want to have an image and then you want to have a luminance channel with the same in it, image on then illumination and just check uh, area light GI area light and uh, so when luminance is on then you can check that when it's not then it's going to be grayed out like this one is um, so a sky object with a sky uh, texture with illumination on I have uh, global illumination on and stuff so that that's how you do that so I have the sky is a light then I have the Sun shooting down at at the camera as light but that's not how I actually got the thing this is kind of like some trickery right here right so my first impression was I, I went into this thinking okay what would happen if I had a cube or a rectangle I put the whole scene into that put my water preset onto the rectangle making it look like water and then um, and then had uh, you know just had a Sun that would go through uh, that would have a volumetric Sun that would shine rays through the cube the problem with a cube or the problem with anything like you know having anything like that is that you can't really do it like that what do I do here this is how I did it. Is it? Wait. Hold up. So yeah, okay, so this is the old scene um, that I did because there was a newer one that I did um, like this. But this is what I thought you can do at first. You can have a cube, you can put the thing in, and then you can have your sun and stuff in here like this. Well, that doesn't work out too well because what would happen is, let's see if I can't. Um, what happens is is when you're inside a cube I think all the space around I'm not too sure um, let me check I'm pretty sure all the space around um, gets a lot darker and stuff and since the Sun can't actually even when transparency is on the Sun can't fully uh, uh, penetrate it so as you're looking right now this is without global illumination on and you can notice that my sun rays are not getting through not even really a lot of the light a lot of the light is going under and going around none of the skylight is coming through none of that and uh, yeah just the flare however so since a cube wasn't gonna work I had to figure out something else what I ended up doing if I can find it um, 
Hold up. Let me go to app data, roaming, uh, maxon, R15 bug reports. It should be in here. No, is it? No. Nope. Um, so what I ended up doing, if I can find it, is I ended up putting a uh, plane on top with my water preset. And then, let me see if I can't find this first. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and uh, this is the actual scene. Oops. Uh, this is the actual scene that I did and you notice that it's a lot bigger and I'll explain why. So basically, you notice that I don't have a cube in here anymore. I really don't have anything in here anymore, but yet everything's still blue and you can notice as I go away, things start to get darker. So what I did was, let me, let me go down this. So basically, um, I'm going to start here. So I have the emitter. That's all the particles that you see in the ba in the camera shot or whatever. That just simulates, you know, the floating of dust and stuff like that. I'm gonna skip plane for right now so that way you can get, this is the just the here, the map and stuff, the camera. You have the sky, same thing with that. You have the sun and then this, this and this are the interested, interesting things. To get the volumetric rays to going through, I actually couldn't do that. So I have my sun above this plane which is what I did. So to make the scene blue, I used best envir uh, I used my environment preset. But I had to tweak it a bit so that way it looked like everything is bluish, there's fog going everywhere. Um, so that's how you how you get the underwater uh, setting. You have to have a fog and have it affect your background and you can use the same setting or whatever if you want. Um, but basically it kind of makes things in the distance a lot darker darker blue than the things up front um, And it gives that really nice ocean look the second thing I did was By having my sunlight. So I have my Sun way up here out of the water, right? You can't even really see it uh, But it is shining light onto the plane. So this plane is is my water right here where I set my water preset onto it and uh, basically I won't just yet show my water um, preset because I'm still fixing it a little bit but uh, but basically to get the waves and ripples you want to use displacement so you basically want to uh, go here add displacement and that's how you kind of get the water um, look and then you add you know transparency reflection that kind of thing so basically that's how you get the the ripples and stuff so basically by having transparency on you can see the ripples and stuff from above but the light like the the volumetric light won't pass through I don't know why there might be a way but I no matter what I did there was no way to pass volumetric light from one side of the plane to the other um, again I might just you know it might just be like really derpy or whatever but I didn't find a way at all so what I did was I made another light this is a point light I called it sunlight one uh, I made it light blue because when light passes through water it becomes like really clear or really light blue it becomes a different color it doesn't exactly become orange or yellow and stuff it starts to take the color of the water or whatever is below and so that's why I picked a light blue and uh, so it's a volumetric spotlight and it's at 50% because I didn't want the the rays to be too much um, and notice how the Sun is facing the camera but this is facing down that's because by having the Sun point diagonal and having this point down it shows refraction so when light hits water it automatically changes directions and that's how that's why I did it like that um, and also having two lights point at the camera would be overkill and mess up the whole scene look so 
that's how I did that. And basically what I did here was I made a bunch of cubes. I don't know if I have it. Yeah. So I made a cloner with a bunch of cubes. They're really small cubes. But I put them in the way of the light. And by putting in them in the way of a volumetric light, it blocks out different... Um, uh, different things and basically I put a composition uh, yeah composition tag or compositing tag sorry uh, on the on the cubes or on the cloner for the cubes so that way they're not seen by refraction reflection um, ambient occlusion and not seen by the camera and also don't receive shadows you don't want any of these to happen you want them to be invisible but uh, but also but be able to give off light or, or give off their own like cast a shadow over and seen uh, be seen by other lights and stuff. Um, so basically they're not shown in the scene. If I were to render them right now, you wouldn't see them. Um, and that's because you don't want them to be seen, but you want it to, to show like, you know, there's light being blocked in places. Um, and that's how you do the rays. So basically, that's pretty much it. Uh, you have your sunlight, you have your your global light, which would be the sky. You would have your emitter or your particles going down in different directions, making sure that um, they are flowing in different directions. It's not just going in one direction. You want them to kind of spread out and go different directions. And that's why I have gravity and turbulence here. Um, to, to help with the, the different motions and stuff. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you would have the environment to actually set up like the fog and the, the coloring of things. And then you would have your last light, which would be the, uh, the rays or the, the sunlight kind of pushing through the water um, with the, the things blocking the light so that way you'd have all these shines. And uh, that's pretty much how I did it. You can see that all these shines look like they're coming from the sun. And uh, everything's like flowing, flowing down here and stuff. So that's how I did it. Um, just a quick, you know, kind of one, two, three go through of, of how I did it and stuff. And uh, hopefully, hopefully that helps. If it didn't and you need more clarification, just let me know. Also, with the glass, I just put on a little bit of reflection. So basically, um, it's a good it's a good um, practice to make multiple um, things for your for your map. So here you can see that I have three. I don't know why. Um, here where it says glass, it's a different texture. And if I open up that texture, you can see there's reflected uh, reflection and transparency on it. So that way it gives it a, more of a feel. It's not just plain glass with the alpha channel and whoa, you can see through. No, you want reflections, you want the transparency like actual glass so that way it gives a more realistic feel to to the scene, you know? Um, so that's how I did it. Um, again, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'm out, peace.